When a patient is seeking a plastic surgeon, there's several things that a patient should look for. Number one is experience level. Has the doctor had adequate training? Uh, where did the doctor train? how involved the doctor is in the medical community. It's critical that a, a plastic surgeon be uh, credentialed to do the procedures that he is doing in his office at a hospital. But if they're not credentialed to do it in a hospital, you might be a little wary of that doctor. Find out what his certification is. Make sure that the plastic surgeon is board certified. Not just board certified in any specialty, but board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. The American Board of Plastic Surgery is the only certifying agency that can certify a doctor uh, in a medical specialty. In order to be board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery, a surgeon has to satisfy a minimum requirement, and that is that he or she has trained a minimum of three years in uh, some surgical specialty, then enters a plastic surgery residency, which is a minimum of two years, then must take a written exam, and then must sit before a board of practicing plastic surgeons for an oral examination. I became board certified in general surgery and actually practiced general surgery for about a year before I entered my plastic surgery residency. I trained at Duke University in plastic surgery. This was followed by doing a hand subspecialty at the University of Louisville and have become double board certified in both general surgery and in plastic surgery. I am involved actively with my hospital. I serve on the peer review committee, which is a committee which evaluates other doctors for their competency of practice. I am active on both local, regional, and national organizations. I will become president of the Southeastern Society of Plastic Surgeons this coming June, where I will serve for a year. I am past president of the North Carolina Plastic Surgery Society and I've been recognized for the last seven years by the American Research Council as one of the top plastic surgeons in America. I have 22 years of experience in plastic surgery. I trained at one of the premier training programs in the United States. I have a background in both cosmetic and reconstructive surgery. I offer in my office confidentiality, safety. The staff that I have are highly qualified staff they have been trained to do plastic surgery, follow-ups, evaluations, and to care for patients during the post-operative period. In addition, I have an on-site, fully accredited ambulatory surgical center. It is nationally accredited and meets the same standards that every hospital or outpatient surgery uh, must meet. There are other benefits of the Barber Center, and one is that I am the only doctor here. So I think it's a great advantage to have one doctor who's gonna care for you throughout the entire process, from initial consultation until your last post-operative visit. There are a couple of ways to learn a little bit more about Barber Center for Plastic Surgery. One of the easiest is simply go to my website, www.barberplasticsurgery.com. Secondly is to make an appointment. Simply call our office. Another option to learn more about Barber Plastic Surgery is that we have monthly seminars. Each month it's a different topic ranging from breast augmentation to facial rejuvenation to liposuction to body contouring and it is posted on the website and you can find out what we will be talking about at our next seminar. Go to our website barberplasticsurgery.com or call our office.